Hi, this is Jesse Liberty for Telerik. Today we're going to take a look at getting started with the RAD Tile View. RAD Tile View is part of the Telerik RAD controls for Silverlight and WPF control suite for .NET and XAML development. In getting started, we'll take a look at adding tiles to your application and using the buttons that will maximize or restore the tiles. We'll also take a look at presetting which tile is maximized and where the minimized tile should be positioned relative to the maximized tile. We'll take a look at the various possible tile states and we'll look at docking tiles using drag and drop. Let's begin by creating a new application in Visual C Sharp and we're going to call that RAD Tile View Getting Started. We'll say OK and accept Silverlight 5. And when the Telerik Configuration Wizard comes up, we're going to add Navigation and its dependent references, which is Telerik Windows Controls. Let's begin by adding a RAD Tile View control to the application. Within the RAD Tile View, we're going to add a RAD Tile View item. And inside of that item, we can place whatever we feel is most appropriate for displaying the contents inside of a tile. In this case, we'll just add a text block that will signify the contents for the tile. So notice the tile has a header and then the tile item has contents and you can see that in the designer as we go. Let's make a copy of this entire tile item and replicate that two more times. And then we'll just update it to say item two and item three. Let's run the application and see what that looks like in a running application. The three tiles start out in what's called the restored state. None of them is in maximized state and none in minimized state. But if we maximize one of them by clicking on the maximize button, so we'll do that with item one, it quickly moves to maximize state and the other two move to their minimize state. If I click on maximize on item two, you see how the animation is built in. You get that right out of the box automatically. If I hit the minimize button, then we return to the restored state where all three have equal size. Let's come back to the code and assume that we want to have one of these items start out in the maximized state as soon as the application begins. In that case, we can set the tile state to maximized on any of these items. I've chosen item one. Run the application and you'll see that item one is born maximized and therefore the other two are born in the minimize state, but you can still maximize the others by hitting the maximize button. Right now, the minimized tiles are to the right of the maximize tile, but you have control over that. If we go to the tile view control, we can put in minimized items position, and you see the choices are bottom, left, right, and top. We'll choose top. And that will move them from the side to the top. You see that right away in the designer. And we can run that in, in the application. You'll see that as we maximize, the minimized items are moving to the top and the maximized item below them. Hitting minimize puts them all in the restore state and makes them all of equal size once again. If we want to be able to drag and drop the controls, we can set is docking enabled to true. We're going to want to set it so that none of them is maximized initially. So they'll all come up in the restored state and now we can just drag and move them or we can drag them into position to be maximized. Item one and minimize that to restore it, move item three over. And you can see that by moving it down to the bottom, it's highlighted that it's going to be maximized on the bottom and the other two are going to be minimized on top. If I move it to the top, the maximization happens on the top and the other two are minimized on the bottom. Similarly, as you would expect, if I move it all the way to the left, then the maximization happens on the left and the minimization on the right. We can set the maximize mode to one 
0 or 0 or 1. If it's set to 1, there will always be one maximized window and you cannot go back to the restored state. If we set 0, you'll always be in the restored state and you cannot maximize at all. 0 or 1 is the default and that allows you to have one maximized window or none in the restored state. I hope you've seen how easy it is to begin to use the rad tile control. This is Jesse Liberty Fitelleric. I look forward to talking with you again soon and please do check out the other videos on the rad tile control.